Okay, let's speedrun this. Visit the website and scroll down to the latest version. If you have Vegas 14 or later, like 15, 16, 17, you click the second button. You just open it, run it, and click Extract. Launch Vegas, click on Tools, Extensions, Vegas for Flow. You can close this and start using it. You can also dock it by moving the window and holding control. So it will stay there whenever you relaunch Vegas. If for some reason the quick install didn't work, you can either move the previous files into a new location or download the dot .zip with the buttons below. In my case, I'm just gonna move the files around. You click on manual install. You just copy this path, open a random folder, paste it. And I'm going to move these files by pressing Ctrl X for cut. We scroll down to the manual install path. I type in the percent program data percent slash Vegas Pro. Right click new folder and application extensions. Now I right click and paste. This will move the previous files to the new folder. Now we launch Vegas and hope it works. Again, we go to tools, extensions and Vegas Pro Flow. If this didn't work either, you can check out the other manual install path. For the last three, all you need to do is create an application extensions folder in one of these existing folders. Okay, but how do you use it? First of all, it's looking for a selected something like an event or a track. Now it's set to event. If you click on one, it will display the animatable properties or effects. In this case, I have some to show you how it works. First of all, make sure you have sync cursor enabled and just click between the keyframes you want to animate. Change the curve to whatever you would like to use or select on already existing curve and just click apply. This is a warning that it might take a bit to calculate, but it's usually pretty fast. You can also turn this off by enabling the first thing in the settings and you can see that it generated all the keyframes between the two keyframes if you don't like the current animation you can just press ctrl z to undo it you can also animate color changes properties with multiple values like x y pen and crop parent track motion track motion track glow track shadow just make sure the track motion window is closed before you press apply unless you wanna wait until the heat death of the universe in different kinds of envelopes either on a track or on an event. Just make sure that the right effect and property is selected. And check for updates on start. We'll always look up the latest version on the website and notify you in the about tab if there is a new version available.